2005 Mercury Sable with a 3.0 engine. What we're going to do is we're going to address the Bank One Sensor 202 trouble code. All right, this is the scan data of all four of our O2s. These two are my upstream. These two are my downstream. This is the one that's sent in the trouble code, the Bank One Sensor 2. It's fixed at zero volts. The Bank Two Sensor 2 has high voltage on the downstream sensor, and that's not a problem. That's a post-cat sensor. You can check the reaction of these by snapping the throttle. If we snap the throttle a bunch of times, we should be able to drive this this downstream one, this bank one sensor too rich. And let's see if that happens. I don't think it will. You see the reaction of, of the working downstream sensor, uh, the reaction of the one that sent the trouble code. It looks like we got a bad sensor. So what we want to do is we want to check the integrity of the wiring before we put an oxygen sensor in this car. And then there's one other thing to consider would be an exhaust leak that would be upstream of this sensor. There are no exhaust leaks on this car. So the next procedure that we're going to show is a wiring integrity test on this downstream sensor to make sure the wiring is good before we put a sensor in, in this vehicle. Okay, we're at the bank one, sensor two, downstream O2 under the car. This thing is coated in oil and we're concerned about that, of course. But we're also concerned about that harness and where it goes above the axle. And very important that we do this integrity test to make sure that our harness is okay before we put an oxygen sensor in this car and also fix this oil leak that's dripping right over top of it. Some important stuff to know for quick testing would be what your sensor signal wire color is. Um, we don't have a wiring diagram. We didn't pull up a wiring diagram. And it really wouldn't help us in this circumstance because I can't see the harness side colors. They go way back in behind back in here. So it helps to know sensor side colors. This information's in my book. Two whites, a gray, and a black. Universal Bosch O2 coloring. Uh, the black wire is my signal wire. This one's gray right here. I don't know if you can see that in this or not, but this top one's gray. Uh, two whites are on the bottom and then this top right one is actually black it's of course covered in oil and difficult to see but that's helpful to know that the top right is the signal and what we want to do is we want to unplug this sensor unplugged you see the oil all over the connector um, it's actually not really inside of the O2 though so that's a good thing but remember top right wire on the harness side was my signal wire Ford does not use a bias voltage so just unplugging the sensor and looking at scan data to see if the, the bias voltage returns is not going to work in this case what we're going to do is we're going to take a test light to battery positive we're going to touch on this top right pin while we're watching the scan tool and we should be able to drive the signal voltage high when we do that uh, the test light should not light, but my scan data signal voltage should increase. And if it does, that's going to make me feel real good about the integrity of this wiring and making sure that the harness is not pinched in this back location. All right, so I got the test light connected to battery positive, and you can see when I touch the ground that my test light lights. And when I touch, when I touch on this signal wire, this test light should not light. And what should be happening? as I'm touching on it, and I'm not jamming this test light in there, I'm just gently touching on the connector, and scan data signal voltage should be increasing to whatever the maximum is programmed into this computer. And in this case, it looks like it's about 1600 millivolts, so I'll come up top and I'll show you that. So touching on, on the signal wire right now, scan data signal voltage is increasing to maximum. All right, so we paused the scanner while we were under there. We had it actually live while we were doing the test. And there's our, our bank one sensor 202. That's the one that we were triggering with the test light. And you can see that we had uh, we had zero volt fixed signal. And when we touch in the test light on and off, you see we're driving the signal voltage high. And that was about 1665. Even though it's a 12 volt test light, 
Again, the computer programming is only designed to read an oxygen sensor signal, which is never going to be battery voltage. So it doesn't know what to do with higher numbers and you're just basically reading the maximum in the computer that's possible and uh, that's good I mean what that tells you when you touch that signal wire on and off like we were doing and you get this kind of reaction right here is that tells you that the wiring from the sensor all the way to the computer is fine and that our concern of the harness that it being pinched and then touching ground which was possibly causing our zero volt signal is not the case here our wiring integrity is fine this car needs an oxygen sensor and of course we need to uh, we need to fix that uh, that oil leak too so that's it signal circuit integrity on a Ford no bias voltage using a test light very quick test